Hello, welcome to BadDragonProductions.com. My name is Robert, and today we're going to cover how to make a horizontal navigation menu bar. What we're going to do today is build this. This template right here, we're going to go over how to do the horizontal menu bar, make the little rollovers without using any images or anything. If you'd like to follow along with this lesson, if you go to BadDragonProductions.com, I have the high resolution videos uninterrupted by commercials and the lesson plans. Um, one is heavily coded, your style sheet and your HTML sheet. One is heavily coded and one is not. So there's two sets of code. If you want to download those and follow along, the Commented ones give you more instructions on <clears throat> what's going on. I comment all the different uh, coding aspects of it with with comment tags like this. And if you want just uh, the regular code to cut and paste and use in your other projects, then you'd probably be better suited with the non-coded ones. So either way, go to BadDragonProductions.com, download the lesson plans, follow along with the videos, and let's get started. The first thing we need to do is if if you've watched any of the previous videos, if you watched the first lesson, how to design your first website template, um, you know, from scratch, this is the same template. I realize that's like seven videos long because I got a little wordy and I, I explained a lot of stuff um, geared a little more for the beginners that I felt was important. I'm not going to talk quite as much in this one. But if you've watched that video or downloaded that lesson template, it is the same template as this one. So although this one has a different banner picture in it, and it's got a couple different colors for you know borders and backgrounds, structurally it is the same template. So if you've downloaded that one, you can also do what we're going to cover today with these menu bars. You can do this on that one, or you can just download this lesson. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is in our menu bar, we're going to put in the home, news, and contact us navigation bar or menu bar links. So the first thing we need to do, here's our menu bar right here. The first thing we need to do is make a class within the menu bar to hold our links. So we're going to go to the style sheet. We're going to go to menu bar, which is right here. And then under that, it doesn't have to be under this, but I try to keep everything kind of structurally sound. Oh, and one more thing, just real quick, absolutely imperative. This line right here, link href style, purple CHM vid, it's for horizontal menu video. This style sheet, is what you've got to be pointed at. So your HTML, you've got to have your link reference to your CSS style sheet. Both of mine are just right here on the desktop. This is the two that we're working on. So make sure you have them in the, your root folder in the proper, um, the proper folders, the proper structure and everything. Make sure you're pointed at your style sheet or things you do on your style sheet won't show up on your HTML. These, these need to be pointed at each other. So, go down to menu bar in your style sheet, and we're going to make a class. Dot means class, menu bar links. Okay, MB links. Opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And what we need to do is put a put position in, and this one's going to be relative which is going to push it right up to the corner of the menu bar, okay? Relative to the menu bar. And the menu bar is under the header and the header is in, in the container. It's going to be relative. If it was absolute, you could place it anywhere on the page you wanted to. We're not going to get into that in this lesson. So position relative, height. We're going to go with 50 pixel. And we're going to put it in the center, so it's going to be text align, center. 
Now what we have to do is take that class that we just made, we took this menu bar, links class, and we have to insert it within our menu bar right here, okay? So we're gonna move this closing div tag down, and inside, we're gonna type our class, div class equals the menu bar links that we just made, okay? Closing Chevron, closing div, and now everything in here is gonna show up on the menu bar. So we need to put our list items, which is home, news, and contact us. So just for the heck of it, we can put those in now. Unordered list, UL, list item, LI, home, closing list item, okay? An unordered list, UL, and a list item, LI, okay? I'm just gonna copy and paste these for field expediency. Change them, news. and contact us. Okay? And then we need our closing UL tag. Now when we hit refresh, they're going to show up here with buttons or with uh, bullets. Why do they have bullets, you say? Well, by default, an unordered list has bullets. An ordered list has numbers, so if it was an OL for ordered list, they'd show up with numbers. One, two, three. That's an ordered list. We don't want an ordered list, we just want an unordered list. So we have ULs, and by default they drop bullets in front of them. Well, we want them in line, so we have to go back now to our style sheet and tell it what the list items are supposed to do. We just built the class, the menu bar links, which is this yellow thing. This is what we just built, is this container. Now we need the links within that container <clears throat> to display the way we want them to. So we're gonna go back to our, here's our links. And then we do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy this again. and it'll be menu bar links li. That's for the list items, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And we want them to display in line. Closing curly brace, save, go back, and now they're in line. And they're in line because we just told them to list items display in line. Now we're going to get rid of this menu bar name, which is right here. We're going to delete that, just to bring it up into the center a little bit. Go back to your style sheet. So we've got the menu bar links holder. We have the menu bar links. Now we're going to tell them what to do when we turn them into actual hyperlinks, your anchors. So copy this. Paste it. And that would be A. So it's menu bar links, list items, A, anchors. That's the list items, or uh, the links themselves. So we're going to put in some padding. I'll show you why in a minute. What that does is um, it's going to, I'll show you it easier than explaining. This is padding. This orange that pops up behind, that's because of the padding we put in, and we're going to designate a background color. We haven't done that yet, so it doesn't work yet on our sheet. None of this stuff works. And these just went crazy because we're in the middle of coding something here. We don't have our curly brace. So let's finish this 16 pixels by 30 pixels. 
And what this does, closing curly brace, this is 16 top and bottom and 30 left and right. Your padding goes top, right, bottom, left, like a clock. So if you really wanted four different sizes, you'd go 16 top, 30 right, 16 bottom, 30 left. If you just put one of them, like 16, it would be 16 top, right, bottom, left. So right now we're going to go 16 top, 30 top and bottom, and 30 left and right. This is just the shorthand version. And now we want them to hover. When we hover over them, we want them to change color. And we want them to underline. So menu bar links list items, anchor, colon, hover. This is what happens when our mouse goes over them, when we hover over them. The background color is going to change to that orange. And I just happen to know it's this color because these uh, borders here, it's the same as these colors on these borders. So we're going to take that color. Paste it, and then text decoration, we're going to underline, closing curly brace, save it, go back, and here they are. Now they're not doing anything yet because we haven't actually turned them into the links. We've just given it the characteristics, all right? We want them to turn white as well. So we've got our we've got our padding. We forgot to put a color in your list item anchors color, and we'll go with white and text decoration of none. And what this does, if we put underline right now, they would be underlined right now. We just want them to underline when we hover over them. So now we need to build, we need to turn these in to anchors. This div class menu bar links, this is our closing div tag for it. Okay. Now we want to make these anchors. So it's left chevron, A, href, equals, and we're just going to put a hashtag or a pound sign in here for now, which makes it act like a link, although it just refers to itself, home, and then our closing anchor point. That's a link. So we do this on all of them, and again, I'm just going to copy it and paste them, maybe and then change the words. So we have the news and the contact us. Save, refresh, and there they are. Thanks for watching. In our next lesson, we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to automatically indent the text in your body area and a quick and easy way to put your little copyright info on. So thanks a lot. Visit baddragonproductions.com if you want to download the lessons and watch the videos in high definition, and we'll talk with you soon. See you.